Okay, the next one we have is a wooden one, colorful. I know we've had some pretty colorful wooden um, necklaces too. We'll do this one for a dollar. I got two wooden ones here with the blue green and then the orange purple and red com combination. These are very cute. Two of them. We'll do these for four dollars. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful orange and red and a burnish brown. It's got an iridescence to it. Very pretty bracelet. Beautiful colors. We'll do this for three. These are glass beads. Here's a Christmas glass beaded with snowman and Santa Claus and Christmas trees. We'll do this one for five. These are all glass beads. Very pretty. Uh-oh. Bonus hair. Bonus hair is gone. Sorry about that. No charge. I uh, know. Yeah, I'm not sending those. <laughs> okay, we have this purple one. Acrylic. With... More of a blue. Huh? That's more of a blue than purple. Okay, he says it's blue. So we'll go with blue. And with this gold, pretty polished gold in between. We'll do that for three. We've got some scuffing right here on this one. But the rest are fine. That's that one again, I think. Nope. There's two with scuffing. And I don't know if I can get that out. I don't think so. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. If you want it, it's a dollar. Next one is this one. Very pretty. Gold tone. Here it is on me. Very comfortable. Easy on and off. We'll do that for two. We have a cute little clamper bracelet that's in excellent shape, all but the center. Needs a little pearl in the center. Or rhinestone, whichever you would choose to put in. We'll put that in the 2850 Hobby Lot. And I think that thing's about full. This has got a seam, so I know it's not going to be um, bake light. Bake light. Look at that. That's pretty, though. I like the oval shape on it. We'll do that for $3. Very different. We have a brass one with inlay. I believe it's brass. Yes, it's brass. We'll do that one for three. This is a pretty silver tone. Meshy, and these swirls are very pretty. And then the beaded and bars. It alternates. It's in very good condition. It is two and three quarters across. We will do this one for three. Beautiful pink clamper. All the rhinestones are there. It looks very clean on the inside. It is. Y'all can't see that as well as I can. I can tell you it's two and a half across from there to there in the very center. I don't see any name on it. We will do this one for five. It's beautiful. The next one is enamel and silver tone. Clean on the underside. It is two and a half inches across. We will do this one for three. Okay, we have this big zipper. And it works. So 
So wear it the way you want to. I love that. And it even a clasp. I don't know if that comes out or not. I don't know. Yeah, it's got to. Silly me. Okay, to get it out, you got to press these in and then pull. That's cool. We'll do that for three. And we have the survival bracelet. We're going to add it to that. We'll do both of these for three. Here's another little bracelet we're going to put in the kids' lot. This is sweet. Grace. And there is the way you open and close it. These may be silver. Yeah, they're not magnetic. Let's see what they rub. So you guys can see. No, they're copper based. I can see it's pink. A little reddish pink. Very nice uh, bracelet. We'll do that one for three. Spells out Grace. Minimalist. We have this little bracelet here that's got wear on it. You can see the copper coming through. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot for a dollar if you want it. Next is magnetic. Magnets are in good shape. Nice textured clasp there. Beautiful silver tone chain. Comes to this medallion with a pink rhinestone in the center. It's very pretty. We'll do this one for five. is a ring, believe it or not. A snowflake. Christmas in July, guys. We'll do that for $3. Very cute. In excellent condition. Nice little stocking. Oh no, it's got a little bit of wear there. A little bit of copper showing. But a cute little stocking gift. The next we have is still has its tag in it beautiful face with all these rhinestones in there. It says Kim Rogers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get y'all to see that. There you go. Kim Rogers. Excellent condition. This only has one. So there's no extender. Yeah, this is where it goes. Ooh, that's a good clasp. It is seven and a half inches. It's beautiful on the underside. Looks like brand new. I'm sure it runs. Let's, t let's take this out and see. Eh. Eh. Well. Oh, okay, I see it. All right, here's the test. Yep, it runs. So, give me the little thumb. I thought you'd taken it. You don't have to pick it up. It's easier that way. Well, I have to put it back down. Oh. Okay. Now what I do? Oh. Put it in your hand. You could have put the watch hush, on. Hush, hush. <laughs> Don't fuss at me. Uh -huh. Okay, I got it back in. So it's in there, and it does work. We'll do this watch for 15. It's in excellent condition. Beautiful gold tone.
Okay, we have earrings. Yay for the earrings. Uh, while I was doing the earrings, I found this little bracelet. This one says Forgiven. It's, it's much like that other one that had Grace. We'll do that for three. There you go, honey. Thank you. Okay. Earrings, earrings, earrings. We have these wooden earrings here in the teardrop. They're kind of a uh, red color. Copper wires up here. Look very artisan, the wires. We'll do those for two. We have these that went with one of the bracelets with the pearl and the cage glass. We'll do these for three. They're very pretty. We're going to do some animal print ones. These are leather. Very soft. And I think they're marked. I think they're marked 925. All right, I like that. I think. I hope. Yes, they say 925. I can't test them for you because I'm out of thing, but I can do the rub. Make sure they don't rub copper. And they don't rub copper. Yeah, those are silver. So we have those. And then we have the me uh, metal animal print. That look like zebra and we'll do those two for seven dollars we have some tassel earrings gun uh, hematite and dark rhinestones and a pretty a b rhinestone there at the top these are all in good condition these look brand new. Here's the backs. We'll do those for five. Very pretty. Let me get it out of here. The way they decide to put earrings together sometimes, just, just so you can see. Those are very pretty. Nice weight. We have some mermaid tails. I think these are adorable. Here's the back. They look brand new. We'll do those for four. We have some Comet. Here's your Comet star. Then you have this piece here. That's enameling. And then you have this piece here. It's textured. I'm looking for marks. I'm going to give this one a rub. Nope, must be stainless steel. I don't know. Anyway, these are cute. We're going to do these for four. There's my little. I don't struggle so, so you guys can see what it looks like. There you go. Very cute. Next pair we have are shell. Pretty shell. Pink. Pinks and blues. We'll do those for three. We have some orange beaded. Made like Celtic knot to me. Very pretty. And this, all you have to do is push it back down. something and do it. There you go. I just pushed it back down. 
We'll do these for four glass beads, pretty orange, Celtic looking knot to me. Next are glass beads and a pretty green and blue, kind of a yellowish green. There you go. Very pretty. We'll do those for three. They're in very good condition. Next pair we have are put on a button. I love it when they do that. I did that. Oh, he did that. I love it when you do that, honey. Beautiful orange shell and crystal glass up here in the orange color. We'll do these for five. Here's some artisan type earrings. Multi metal design. You've got enameling on the back one here. This one is anodized, I think, with the blue, and then you have this design there. We'll do those for four. Pretty uh, colors to go with jeans. We have these fasted um, blue teardrop. They are acrylic on some chain that looks the dash and dot chain. We'll do those for three. Very cute. Lightweight because they are acrylic. We're going to do some silver tone and gold tone next to each other. And it's going to be pink and it's going to be blue. There's these two pair. We're going to do together $3. These are the gold tone ones. These are, I believe they're acrylic. I believe those mm, are acrylic also. I can't really tell because of this metal disc. Make it feel cold. $3 for both pair. Okay, honey. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a lot here. Well, sort of like a lot. A lot of blue. Here's your a lot of blue. These are acrylic, I believe. These are wood, metal, I believe acrylic, it may be glass, and then shell, this beautiful shell. And then these are pearl, and these look like real pearls, sand dollar, and enameled disc in the back. We'll do these for five. Very cute, very pretty. And then that. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. This pair is missing pieces. This. And this pair is missing its French wire. So we're going to put those in the Hobby Lot for a dollar. You want them. We have some pearl hoops here. These are probably about an inch. Let's see. 
Oh, a little over an inch, about an inch and a quarter. We'll do those for a dollar. Very pretty. We'll do these two hoops here for a dollar. We're going to put them in the hobby lot. free with the cactus then you have your coral and with the pearl and those are freshwater pearls and then you have the starfish and we'll do those three for eight dollars very pretty very cool they're in excellent condition they have somewhere on the they just need cleaning on the bottom of that. There's that one. And there's this one. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. Next there's some little post earrings that are absolutely beautiful. Rhinestones, enamel, very well made. Here's the backs. These are five dollars. Very pretty. We have some Christmas earrings that are clip backs. These are vintage. They're not marked. The Christmas tree and the sleigh, isn't that beautiful? We'll do those for five. And we have these. And they're silver with pearl inlay, mother of pearl inlay 95 I can't test them but they rub silver they're marked FAS Thailand on the back I couldn't find any 925 we're gonna sell these for 12 they're beautiful and then the last we have these earrings on a card the only non-matching set This is this one with the arrow and the half moon. The rest all have their matching pieces. We'll do these for five on the card. And oh, thank you. We are over five pounds on this bag here, and so I'm going to kind of show it. This is um, what's for sale on it. What's in the craft bag? This is $28.50. It's shipped separate because it's five pounds. You have some vintage beads with also the clasp in there. You have some clip back earrings that were missing stone, a stone, I think. No, they, it was missing this metal piece here. All the stones are there. We had this bracelet missing one stone right there. We had these beads. They are glass. It has this clamper bracelet that's in excellent condition except it needs a pearl or something in the center of that. Some clip earrings that have missing their little AB and I think it's part of a shell. You have this leaf here, it's missing there too. More vintage beads, there's your clasp, there's your tag. And this one was a Park Lane necklace, I love it too. I love these beads. And look at the beautiful spacer beads you're getting in that. A ring that's missing a stone. 
more glass beads, more glass beads, that wire necklace, this little bracelet that needs to be restrung. Uh, some little dolphin earrings. Some more earrings. Some rhinestone. They're all there. It just needs to be restrung on that. Some more earrings. This necklace here. This piece here, some more earrings. This is pretty. This piece here, I forgot what it was missing. Uh oh, it's a little hung up right there, but I think we were missing some of the tiny rhinestones. It was hard to tell, but the beautiful chain on that. Lobster claw clasp. And this will work its way out. It wasn't like that before. There, see? It's a little crystal in the bottom there. I just love this. That's in there. This bag again is $28.50. That includes $8.50 for the shipping. More glass beads. A little kitty cat that's missing a couple of rhinestones. Some more bead and chain. This ring here is missing a blue stone right here. There's nothing. This was this one. Nice chains and beads, and I believe you have glass beads in here too. Some more rings. Earrings. Now these are crab pieces. Uh, earrings that have red, and the red enamel on that's fine. The back's kind of more earrings. There's nothing wrong with this earring, and there's a match in there. They just put in there for crafting. Little golf thing. Little bracelet that look. There's nothing wrong with it. I just put it in there. It's glass beads. These are made to look like coral pieces. We have this watch, I mean, not watch, this bracelet. Needs cleaning. These earrings. This earring, and there's another one in there. As soon as I find it, I'll show it. This necklace, this pearl necklace, these earrings here. Some more pearls that need, uh, they're knotted in between and they need end caps. I mean, they need a clasp on the end. That pretty one that had these, some of the marquees missing, but otherwise the metal's in great shape. This bracelet, I don't know why I put it in there, but I did. These earrings uh, broke off, the stem broke off. Here's the other earring to this. These had a little wear on it. You can see it right there. Some more earrings. Some more necklaces. Some more earrings, some more earrings. Bracelets. This bracelet was beautiful. It just had this part here. 
this pretty necklace here. It is come loose from that. This. Oops. These had the eyeglass things on the ends. Beaded. And then this cuff. And this piece, I don't know what it is. More pearls, glass pearls, earrings, chain. These beautiful. What is this? It's a bracelet, I believe. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like it needs to have a clasp on it. Some more of this and that. In there, some shell, some more earring, a nice watch that needs a battery, a pen that was broke, shell necklace on a wire with stone, more earrings, I guess one of the blue, something was missing, I don't know what. A necklace with a bunch of dangles. You have butterflies in there and right here. I think acrylic. Stretchy. Earring. More earring. Another bracelet. Shell bracelet, this just needs to be broken off and it's fine after that. Whew. A necklace with hearts. Eesh. It's got all its parts. It needs cleaning. Here's another necklace that has a magnet with the heart, some beads, some more beads, metal beads, stretch bracelet, a peacock, some more metal beads, some hematite and a snake chain. Needs a clasp. This one with bone and copper beads and crystals. Some uh, chain. It is broken, but it's got its clasp. So those are nice pieces. Some more beads. Bracelet, red rhinestone bracelet. Red rhinestones are hard to come by. Ooh, maybe I should have kept that. I didn't think about that. Another bracelet. It was this beautiful piece. Necklace. It had all its parts. Now it's come apart from here. That's what the issue was. And I'm I believe it might have missed some rhinestones here and there. Some more beads. More beads. This necklace has its binding still that can be reused or you can just keep it as a necklace. Okay, we're at the end. We have this necklace that was in there with the panel. Angel wing. Charm bracelet. 
all kind of charms. Looks like bubble bath time. Leaf. More charms. Just a um, charm. That was put in there for the charm. Another charm there. Another ring. Here's another charm on a cord. Now these are leather cords in here though. Enjoy the little things. A little ring. Another part of an earring. Got this in there. Could be a pendant if you want it to be. Or added to a necklace. And this one had the, um, this was just broken and I didn't fix it. So there's that. It's over five pounds. Put it all back in now. So this is a, um, a lot that you can use for repurposing. It will probably be a little bit tangled when you get it. I'm going to put that watch in a bag. Because when I pull out one of these pieces for y'all and the others, I kind of have to go through untangling again. I have bagged some of this up. I'm also going to add all these little charms and pendants and stuff I've been collecting uh, through the box. And we've got everything from animals to stars to hearts to um, here's a little sister charm that's adorable. That looks like it could be silver. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. If you get a good deal, that's good for me. Here's that little egg. Um, piece here too. That's pretty cool. And a little ladybug. And I think she's cool. And a bee. So anyway, all those are going to go in there too. So that's the end of the 2850 bag. And um, thank you guys for watching. And we'll be back with the next. If you want to claim this bag, claim it in the video. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, maybe take a picture of it and put it up on my eBay store too. So wherever it sells first is where it's going. So thank you guys for watching. And leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Share them with your friends. We're trying to get to a 1,000. We've been trying for months now. And we just can't seem to hit that 1,000 mark. So um, tell your friends to come join us. And y'all have a nice evening. And we will see you in the next either box or jewelry jar opening. Bye now.